What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to yet another segment. This is going to be called Things I Like. I'm just going to share with you a few YouTube channels that I seem to spend a decent amount of time on and I find very, very good value in these guys' web and these guys' YouTube channels. So completely random. No rhyme or reason to why I like these or not. But uh, the first one I'll share with you is the guy's name is Adam Rag Ragusi. Ragusia. Adam tests things and then he sees if it's true or not. So a lot of things has to do with cooking and seeing what works better, cooking this and frozen and then doing it from the, or he goes through all sorts of stuff, really, really science based research and very common sense and just really guy does a very thorough great job at figuring things out or exploring experimenting and then explaining it to us so that's adam next is one it's a very 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 specific it's uh i'm grew up in canada born and raised played a bit of ice hockey always always liked ice hockey and so this one's called the pro hockey alumni and it's mostly video sort of um uh what would you call it? uh segments on bio bio oh, jesus biographies on hockey players so a lot of them aren't your typical like say hockey player in the 70s whatever like Guy Lafleur or bobby Orr or something like that they're going to be choosing these random guys that weren't really that famous or really weren't that much of a star but you know, they had something about them. Then he had a very interesting story. So this one's cool because it goes in the Western Hockey, World Hockey Association a bit as well. And I find that the 70s for a lot of things, like especially sports, like there was this one documentary on Netflix with um, Kurt, Douglas, Kurt, Kurt Russell's dad was an actor. I think he was on Bonanza, but then he ended up buying this single A team out of Seattle, I think. Or Portland, Portland, sorry. It was out of Portland. And it's like he bought this team and he, it just, and then there was like these, the second NBA was that, what's his name? Will Ferrell did that, the league. Um, there was a World Hockey Association. Apparently there was a um, a pro volleyball league that Wilt Chamberlain was trying to get going. So <laughs> things in the 70s were just different, man. It just was, it was, <laughs> it was different. So, and when I see these hockey ones, I don't know. I just really, really love watching these old school hockey stuff. Not too old when it's black and white, but through the 70s, especially with the different goalie pads, like with the circles on them and different masks, goalie masks. It's, it's a cool channel. So that is the pro hockey alumni. And then my third one, which I just actually just watched his recent video today, it's Michael Franzese. Now, Michael Franzese was a former mob boss from, I guess, the 80s and 90s and He's actually a very, very eloquent, well-spoken man. Uh, he seems like such a straight shooter and really kind of seeming like the voice of reason in such some strange times that we're experiencing. I don't really touch on those things that much, but I'm going to show you a link with a, uh, a, a segment he did. It's called Hypocrites. No, what is it called? Uh, hypocrisy something. And this is just from a few days ago, but it's he has some really really good content and then he's also working with some some cool people he was working with mike tyson and i forget whoever else he had said somebody but he's trying to do something to give an outlet for kids and boys and youth just to because it seems like a lot of the stuff that is happening in the world these guys are kind of getting brushed over the young kids you know i'm very grateful that i had you know a handful of people in my life that you know led me the right way as opposed to some other these other idiots that i had experience with in my life and I think there's a lot of stuff on the internet these days, and it's just a lot of crap. And it's really unfortunate. As a kid, you're probably confused and like, who the hell do you believe? These guys seem so confident with the crap they're talking. But then you see these other people who have done it, and this is their life they're leading. Like, see, this this mafia guy. And he's saying that what these guys are teaching is rubbish. And so as a kid, it must be very, very confusing. But I think eventually, you know, the truth will, <laughs> you can you can see the truth after a while. It doesn't take much. But if you don't know, you don't know. So it must be very, very difficult. So I really like what uh, Michael Franzese is doing there with uh, with Mike Tyson trying to help the youth, which I think is a very good thing because 
Probably need a lot of help. Probably a lot of single ki- kids with single parent households. Not a lot. Not a father in the house, and could use some good advice. So, if uh, if they can if they can provide that, that is excellent. So, check out those uh, YouTube things if you like. And the next one, I'll have a bunch more, completely unrelated and random. And maybe those will all suck for you. Maybe you'll find one that you like and stick to it. So. It's just about finding new things and checking new stuff out because the internet is full of it. So, all right, guys, until next time, I'll catch you then. Peace.